Welcome by Mas Tal from Amco. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, I'd like to know um, what role Amco can play in uh, supporting countries in their national plans to meet the water and sanitation targets, particularly in the context of the Global Framework for Action. Amcao has a big role to play because uh, I'll go back in history that uh, in 2008 the African heads of states met in Sharm El Sheikh uh, and the theme of the summit was uh, water and sanitation and they have decided at the highest level that the heads of states of Africa that uh, African countries should meet the MDGs on water and sanitation and that's a big challenge because we know that about 26 countries are off track most likely will not meet the MDGs on water. 20, 26. 26 on water. And for sanitation, it's only about six that can meet that. And they have requested that AMCAO should assist the countries to accelerate their efforts to bring them on track. On that role, AMCAO is now looking at the countries that are off track and see why are they off track. And we have realized that most of them do not even have national plans. You have to have a national plan, and AMCAO will help them through African Development Bank. They have funds for helping countries to start off for national uh, plans. The Global Framework for Action have funds to help countries to start up uh, doing plans. So AMCAO, we are sitting at the bigger picture, knowing the countries that do not have plans, and knowing the developed countries or the partners or the donors that are ready to help. So we link the countries with the donors, we link the countries with the different initiatives and we have a role to report to the heads of states every year what progress has been made. The Samuel State Declaration was, is one year old. You have the Ethiquini Declaration on Sanitation that was done in South Africa that is over one year. And we report to the heads of states as Amkau say, since you made this political declaration, these are the progress. But that's a challenge because declaration and commitments is different from implementation. The challenge is how do you translate those declarations and commitments to action on the ground? We are hoping that initiatives like the Global Framework of Action and other initiatives will help us to do that in South Africa. In November 9, 2013, will be the second African Water Week. And the theme of the week is commitments to action, um, implementation of the summer check. And there we want to sit down with the donors, with the finance ministers who are very important at the national level to convince them that water provision of drinking water is not a social service but an investment. Water for economic development water to alleviate poverty. Once we convince the finance ministers, then you'll see the resources will come from the countries themselves, not to be dependent entirely to the donors. That's the objective that we want to reach, that countries themselves take ownership and responsibility to providing water and sanitation to their people. This question of ownership is very critical at the national level, but also in terms of the global framework. How can AMCO and African governments ensure that they actually take ownership of the global framework, um, that it's not just a global initiative, but one that there's ownership also at the national level? That's a very good, good question. and <coughs> We've been concerned that the ownership that Africa should be part of the owners. And uh, since the beginning of the Global Framework of Action in 2008, <coughs> at the uh, UN General Assembly when it was launched, Amcao was invited to be in the ad hoc committee. And Amcao has been working uh, with the committee up to now. And I, the representative of Amcao, I'm a member of the governance uh, working group. I'm a member also of the political working group to ascertain that African views and African concerns and issues are addressed by the global frame of action. So we are in it as an African body to bring the views of the African that is not an other global, international or donor driven. We want it to be demand driven. driven. So Africa is represented there by AMCAO and we hope that when we have the uh, African regional meeting of the 
Global Frame for Action, Africa will come with what they want the Global Frame for Action to do for Africa. Well, it sounds like the move towards a compact is in place already, and uh, hopefully it will come to success as planned. Yes, thank you very much, because we've been talking about the compact, and now we say that it's six years to 2015 to meet the MDGs. The only way we can meet is to have compact. Right.